everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips, and this is Molly. And Molly is a Bichon Shih Tzu, and she's coming for a full groom today. And uh, Molly is about 12 years old. So I'm going to start that. We're going to do a number 10 blade on the body, including the head and the face. So she's going to be nice and clean. And uh, ready for some to grow out for winter. we got a couple more months of nice weather and then it's going to start getting pretty cold here. And then I'll probably see her in the springtime for her spring cut. So we're just going to get started here. Since I am going to be shaving the face, I don't uh, need to scissor cut it. So I'll just work on the feet and uh, comb out the tail and ears. And pluck out the ears before the bath this time. Her nails are quite short, so I won't have to trim too much off of them. Just a little bit. She's as quick as right there. So she either uh, gets some good walking in and wears it down. Nice to see. And that'll change a little bit in the winter when there's snow on the ground, because then they're not able to wear it down as much uh, with the snow there. The cement is covered. Okay, good girl. Sometimes it's just the back feet that are worn down, but the front aren't. Depends if they're pullers when they walk. And always the dew claws are always a little bit longer because uh, they never get worn down. Still pretty relaxed, she's not moving at all. She's staying nice. I know. Okay. Front a little bit longer. It's okay. It's okay. I know. You're very dramatic. All done. I know. 
so dramatic. <laughs> All right, so there's two feet done. We'll get the front one next. See, there's a little bit of hair in there. Sometimes that can make the feet a little bit sore. All right, we'll finish this front one. Okay. I don't like the front ones being done. Trim a little bit around the dew claw. Teeth, so I'm not going to worry about a cone. I know. You're okay. Yeah, all done. Okay, last. Some videos where the dogs are a little more aggressive or they just are nippy because they're nervous and I put them in the, some categories for you so that they're easier to find in playlists so if you want to see something more specific or some dogs that are a little more difficult I do have those too I just kind of record what I get when they come in I don't know um, what I'm going to get or what kind of mood they're in until they're here. And as they get older, sometimes their temperament will change as well. Some of the senior dogs uh, get a little senile and they'll walk off the table or try. They'll just be quite uh, active. They still do good. But if you'd like to check those out, you can always find those on my channel. Also, I'm looking for people to subscribe. If you could please subscribe to my channel. If uh, you're interested in these videos and like to see more, I uh, do put new ones out every day of various dogs that I groom. So that'd be awesome if you could do that. You can always comment and let me know if you have any questions as well. I do try to keep up with them as I can. As they come in. I know, it's okay. Yeah, good girl. One more, I just finished one. Yeah, good girl. All done. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the ears and the tail. Hmm. 
Not too much there. Just going to scissor cut close up there to the ear so that I can pluck out in that area. I can see what I need to do. Not too much hair in her ears, they're actually very healthy. Okay. Just using some regular Q tips. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Although, not much in there, she's not a big fan. All done. All done. The one. She's just a very vocal girl. Okay, all done. Good girl. All right, just a little bit in that one. Okay, so I'm going to comb out her tail. And then we'll get her in the tub. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Just going to give a little bit of trim because the owner likes to keep it longer. Oh. <laughs> yes, you're a talker. Okay, to the tub now. Gonna put on my earmuffs. A little loud.
cuddling Bentley's here, keeping her company in the room, so he's uh, giving her some sympathy. Yeah. Yes, the guys are fine. All right, so I'm going to give her a little blow dry here. We'll see how she does. Put on her mops. Hey, good girl. Oops. Uh -huh. Come here. Oops, sorry. Hey, could you don't bite it? <laughs> she thinks it's a toy. There we go. Okay. It's okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to start with a number 10 blade and we actually do that on the head and face as well. So the fur is still a little bit damp. So that helps keep the clippers a little bit cooler, but it also, um, you know, always got to keep checking on them. Usually I'll lay the blades right on my inside of the wrist there, because that's the most sensitive area for me. And then you can really um, get a good sense if it's too warm for the dog. So you never want it to get too warm. So I just do it kind of quickly throughout when I'm moving. So I'll touch the top of my hand, kind of thing. And you get a good sense of uh, how hot it's getting to your dog as well. So you don't get hot because that can burn their skin. And then when they do get one, you just change out the blade. I always have lots of blades on hand. Ready to go, so I interchange them throughout the room. It's getting a little warm, I just change it out.
Sorry about that. I guess you're watching me instead. She was sneaking away from me. She wants to move a little bit. See, I'm wearing my earmuffs just in case she does decide to do a little singing for me as she has a pretty high pitched voice, so just protecting my ears. that out she's starting to get warm so it's always good to have multiple blades ready to go as soon as it starts to get a little bit warm you want to change it out
going to wipe her off um, but not give her another blow dryer since she doesn't like the blow dryer. I don't really want to give her that extra stress if I don't need to so we'll just kind of fluff her up a little bit without the blow dryer. Okay and then I'll uh, use the scissors around her face but I don't want to uh, Use the blow dryer if I don't have to, but she doesn't like it, obviously, so it's not necessary. It just poops up the fur a little bit more, but uh, she's already getting fairly dry already since we're doing a shorter cut on her. See, I gotta do a little bit of cutting in there, but it's a little hard with the clippers, so I'll use the scissors. Come back to that. bit older too they do have a lot more loose skin so you gotta be careful of that use the scissors to finish her up. Okay, all right, so there's a little bit in there. You always got to be careful when you're using scissors anywhere. You got to make sure you know where your tips are so that you're paying attention to where they are. So you're not just focused on the hair you're cutting, but where the end of the blades are. So you're not cutting anything else and sometimes that includes your fingers yeah okay come here all right so i'm just gonna see how she'll let me get into her face here uh -uh. good girl I'm just holding on to the back of the jawline. So as you can see, she still can move. But it just kind of holds her in place. And then when she does lift her head up, I just hold at the back of the head skull there. Just to let her know that no, no, I got to stay. And then I'm kind of in control. She really doesn't like this one side being done. So she might have maybe a tooth infection there. So I'll just try to get as clean as I can up in there. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
Just about done. I just want to get one more snip in there if I can. If she'll let me. Okay. She really doesn't want me in there. Hey. Okay. Sorry. Good girl. Okay. There we go. So I got it. And it may not be perfect, but sometimes you can't do that with an older dog. You just got to kind of get what you can. Um, and uh, you don't want to stress them out too much. So I might try going back in a, in a few minutes um, to try to get some more of the face. But I don't want to do it all at once just because she is a little bit stressed. And uh, I don't want to cause any more stress. So we'll do it in little increments. So I am going to clean her up here. And put the ear solution in. So I just use this ear solution just to uh, dry out any moisture that may have gotten in there. <laughs> Come on, baby. And that just keeps the ear canal nice and dry because you don't want to have moisture in there because that could cause some ear infections. I'm just going to trim her ear there. And there we go. All right, so there she is. Okay. That's something stuck on her tail. Okay, good girl. So, there she is. She's all done now. And she's ready to go, as you can tell. So thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if there's something uh, you'd like to see, just please comment on, the, on this video and on the channel. And I'll be happy to post that. And if you could, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, keep watching. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks. Thanks again. We'll see you again.